Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to look at learn the basics transpile code in which we will learn how to convert a function from a certain framework to a different framework using a single line of code. So firstly, I'm going to open this in Colab just because it's a bit easier to run the functions. We don't need to install anything, but in case you want a local installation of Ivy, please follow this link. So the first thing would be to install Ivy. And then we are going to have a quick look at what we have built in the previous tutorials. So unify and compile in case you want to check them. Uh, so what we are doing here is importing Ivy and Torch, set the backend to Jax, create a function called normalized, in which, which is composed of Torch functions. And then we are going to use Ivy.unify and Ivy.compile to be able to use this normalize function in Jax. So basically now we can use Jack normalize uh, with inputs such as Jax arrays. So maybe this can be a bit tedious sometimes. We basically need to use ivy.unify and ivy.compile uh, to be able to uh, receive this function, to use this function in a different framework. So in order to overcome this issue and use a single line of code, we've created ivy.transpile which basically allows us to do unification and compilation as well in a single line of code. So here, what we are doing, we are passing the function as an input, and then we set the source to um, the source framework that we've used. So in this case, it's Torch. And then um, we add the target framework as well. Um, in our case, we want to convert it to Jax. So now we can basically use jack, jack underscore normalized uh, just as in the previous example. So I'm going to run this now. And what we are going to see is that the output is of type jacks. Let's check that as well. So we basically, we were able to convert this function. So the normalized function into the Jax version of the function by using a single line of code, ivy.transpile. I hope this was helpful. Um, in case you want to learn more, please watch the following tutorials as well.